My opinion on the streak is that it should never have ended. Like Bruno San Martino's seven year reign with the WWE Championship, the Undertaker's streak should have been right there with it. I know it's wrestling tradition to put someone else over on your way out, but there's an exception to every rule, and Undertaker's streak should have been the exception to this rule. Nobody, absolutely nobody, has had a career as long or as successful as The Undertaker. He never dipped in quality. I know some people hated the American badass character wise, but for me, it was the perfect time. For a reinvention, then he goes back to his dark character. At minimum, Brock Lesnar should not have been the one to end the streak. You either have a new talent do it or someone from his past like Kane. In my opinion, Kane ending the streak would have been a lot better than Brock Lesnar and it would have sent them both off in a good way. Picture it, final WrestleMania, Kane versus Undertaker, one final battle. It'll have to be a banger match. Back and forth all night, trading blows. The Undertaker goes for the tombstone. Kane reverses it, hit the tombstone, goes for the pin, and he wins the match. I wouldn't give it any time to breathe either. Kane Pyro goes off immediately after the three count. They both disappear from the ring, and the fog just rolls in. Maybe this is a time to introduce someone new like Bray Wyatt to take over the spooky mantle. Though I must admit, the crowd reaction after the streak was done was amazing though.